Okay, I think I'm going to title this, um, The Law is Literally Your Mother, okay? Here, my son, the instruction of your father, which is his Abba, are the instruction, yeah, Abba, and do and not do forsake the law, the Torah, the Torah, see that? here this is the Torah and then it says of your mother but when you translate this it is not of your mother it just says the Torah your mother he's, he's literally calling the Torah our mother okay and when I first read this I didn't understand it and then sure I'm sure many other people have already gotten it but oops let me show you sorry I have it switched Okay, so it's not of your mother. It's just your mother. See, your mother. They added that of, I guess, to make it sound more English. Or I don't know why they did it. But anyway, here, my son, the instruction, which is of fa uh, your father, Abba, and not do forsake the law, the Torah. See, the Torah that the law of the Lord, that's the law God gave Moses, the Torah, the instructions of God, your mother. For ornament. This is, it says graceful, but it's more like it's an ornament of favor. See, favor. I hate when they switch words just to make them coincide with Paul's demonic gospel but whatever for the ornament of favor they they remember his commandments they on your head remember because he's writing his law on our heart our minds our inward parts and in chains about thy neck okay i'm not gonna go there that's a whole nother prophecy might go there later okay so proverbs that was proverbs one this is one eight through ten actually or eight through nine i don't know this is proverbs three trust in the lord with all your heart my son do not forget my teachings what is his teachings it's his law why they didn't put his law well we know why they don't want us to keep his law but i can show you here my son, my law, his Torah, right here, his Torah, not do forget, but my commands ye keep your heart for length of days and long life and peace will it add to you. Look, here we go about that neck thing again, mercy and truth, not let forsake, bind them around your neck write them on the tablet of your heart of your heart okay remember he's writing his law on our heart and our inward part but it's still our job to find life what is life life is the torah is obeying the torah okay remember matthew 7 14 but small is the gate what is the gate? His word is the gate. Not just the word in the Bible. No, I'm saying the word that came out his mouth. He made it pacific. He even said the enemy was going to sow among his words. But his real sheep would know the difference. And narrow the road that leads where? To life. And who's going to find it? And only few you find it <sighs> but go back to proverbs 3. so it's talking about his life um I really want to go down here and he's he's literally uh, repeating some of the commandments honor the lord with your wealth and with your first fruits of your harvest this is all in the torah then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not reject the discipline of the Lord and do not loathe his rebuke for the Lord disciplines the ones he loves and does a father the son in whom he delights. 
Blessed is the man who finds wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is his law. The man who acquires understanding. For she, remember, he's calling it she because it's our mother. The Torah is more profitable than silver. Her gain is better than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire, desire compares with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand is riches and honor. All her ways are pleasant and all her paths are peaceful. She, which is literally, she is really the word of God, our mother. He's not just our father. He's our father and our mother. Very cool, huh? She is the tree of life. Well, we know for a fact that the tree of life is the word of God. Which also makes me wonder, what was the tree in the garden? Was it really a tree? Hmm. And also, since the, since the mother is the Torah, who, what, more like what, and also who, because it's the word of God. So whose word is the mother of harlots? Hmm. Everyone should know this. That's even on my page to begin with. So I'm just going to stop there. Anyways. I'm not saying I'm not saying not to honor your earthly mommy and daddies. Yes, that's part of the Torah. Yes, do that. But our Abba is the Father, and our mother is his law, the Torah, because it literally watches over and protects us like a mother. Pretty awesome. God bless you.